perched atop an ancient stone plateau amidst the red sands of the outlands lies the city of Thole. Centuries ago, it was a major garrison for the Gerulian Empire, and there may even have been a settlement prior to this era. These days, Thole is a city of thieves and outcasts. Fugitives of all kinds come here to avoid complications in neighboring nations. Not everyone in Thole has a price upon his head, but no one who dwells here is innocent. The Guild of Steel like to call themselves mercenaries, protecting the few caravans that ply their trade across the desert. Yet those that do not pay for their protection find the Guild equally adept at brigandage. The Guild of Silk call themselves merchants and do indeed sell all manner of goods and trinkets. Though it is best not to ask them from whence they came. A vast stone gate is all that remains of the Barbican that once defended these walls. Now, it guards the city of Thole once more from the horde of nomads that besiege it. For three years, I have been hiding here amid the detritus of the heretic kingdoms. But it is only a matter of time before my former allies locate me and I am running out of places to hide. My hometown, I'll do the talking here. I do not need yours or anyone else's permission to return to my city, Duke. Kalik, I thought you were, um... Dead? What can I say? I got better. You should not have come back. Nemec commands the Guild of Steel now. My son and I have much to... discuss. Do not bring fighting onto my streets or there will be consequences. It is bad enough that we are besieged without civil war breaking out inside the walls. We're under attack? Nomads under the command of some Taimurian exile. But the city has stood for centuries, and it will not fall under my watch. I'll be keeping an eye on you, Kalig. What an honor. Te ma al orthas. I'm coming, Nemec. Papa's home. Richard, try outside the main doors into the guild. You looking to make a few coins? I had, uh, well, I, I got close to a uh, lady of the night, and I seem to have misplaced my ceremonial silk knife. If I don't get one before inspection, my superior will kill me. I'll pay a hundred for one if you can get it for me. You should shop around, though. Some stalls are cheaper than others. I don't have time to chat, but I bet Arisha does. Weapons, armor, supplies, the best prices, unbeatable quality. 
Save your patter for the wayfarers, Morphew. Kalig, always a pleasure. What can I get you today? You know anything useful, Morphew? Tell you what, you scratch my back, I scratch yours. I need to collect the weekly tariffs from Wani and Rabbi Fantesed, only they're never keen to pay up. Someone like you could compel their compliance rather well, don't you think? If you get the money, I'll tell you something useful. You came back? Wonderful! How's the siege affecting everyone? Many fled before it began, but our guilds are kind of stuck here. It's not exactly a ghost town, but it's eerie seeing the old hostel abandoned. No one's been inside since, well, since I don't know when. You came back? Wonderful! My friend sells excellent weapons at great prices. You'll find him near the Guild of Steel. I'm here to collect the tariff for Morphew. For pity's sake, again? Hand it over or I'll take it from your cold, dead hands. Don't hurt me. It's not worth me life. Just take it and leave. Wise choice. Think of me when you have goods you do not need. I'm here to collect the tariff for Morphew. Oh. Is it time for that already? Very well, uh, here you go. Well, that was easier than I expected. 
Be safe. Morphew sent me to collect the tariff. Ah, I had wondered about that. Please, give Morphew my regards. Thanks, bootlicker. Stay back so soon. <laughs> good, good. Always good to see you, friend. Weapons, armor, supplies. Here's the money. Quite enjoyed muscling it out of them. You have my gratitude. So much easier than trying to negotiate with those jackals myself. You wanted information. I can tell you this. If you want to get into the Guild of Steel, Arashad can get you into the cellar. But beware, as the Guild has some vicious traps down there. Weapons, armor, supplies. Always a pleasure. My friend sells excellent weapons at great prices. You'll find him near the Guild of Steel. If you need armor, try Akram's stall. Thou shalt know despair. This guy and a human skeleton. What happened here?
What in hell? Oh, a wasted effort. Show thyself, coward. Free to face me. Thy soul is mine. What in hell?
weapons, armor, supplies, excellent prices, superb quality. What do you know of the skeletons in the old hostel? This is the first I've heard of this. The other merchants had more to do with the hostel than I did, though. You came back? Wonderful! Tell me about the Sura mercenary who came to town. Don't know anything useful about that, I'm afraid, but I'll bet someone in town does. Weapons, armor, supplies, excellent prices. Good to see you, friend. Tell me what you know about the bodies in the old hostel. No idea what happened at the hostel. I used to deliver food there, back before the siege. But I haven't been inside since that Sura warrior went there. I don't think anyone has. Always good to see you, friend. Tell me about the Sura mercenary who came to town. He came through the gates, went to the hostel, and left. That's all I know, really. I was just glad to see him leave town, to be honest. Always good to see you, friend. Take care, friend. Back so soon. <laughs> good, good. Tell me what you know about the bodies in the old hostel. I can only tell you about the hostel itself, I'm afraid. When your guild hired mercenaries from out of town, they stay there. I think Rabaf had a deal with the owner at one point. He might know more. Welcome, welcome. Tell me about the Sura mercenary who came to town. I wasn't even in town when it happened. You'll have to ask elsewhere. Back so soon. <laughs> good, good. You are always welcome here. Weapons are the finest around, and unlike... Tell me what you know about the bodies in the old hostel. I don't know anything about that. Ask Rabat. He dealt with the owner. No hand beats me. Tell me about the Sura mercenary. No, I don't know anything. You didn't seem to try very hard. Perhaps you need some help remembering. I said I don't know anything. Now. If you aren't buying anything, be on your way. Best weapons in the outlet. Good to see you, friend. Be safe. You came back? Wonderful.
Sure, my friend. You tire of trawling the city streets in search of someone to buy your unwanted goods. Look no further. I will buy... Tell me what you know about the bodies in the old hostel. There are dead bodies in that place. Honestly, you'd think someone from the guild would have noticed. I suppose the building has been abandoned for a while now. Haven't seen anyone go inside since the siege started. Ah, what do you have for... Tell me about the Sura mercenary who came to town. I remember seeing the Sura mercenary talking to Fey Ruse before he left. And Fey Ruse looked mighty pleased about it too. Wait, ah, what do you have for me? Did Feyrus have dealings with us? Other than seeing him talk to that one Sura mercenary, bring your unwanted goods to me. Uh, your customers are always welcome. These are dangerous times for one without calm. Sample my fine wares. Tell me about the Sura mercenary. You can't tell you anything about the Sura, I'm afraid. I never get to when you've been a merchant for as long as I have. Back again, I see. Did Feyrus have dealings with the Sura? I don't really know what Feyrus gets up to, but he sure had a lot of silver on him that day, the Sura. You don't think... No. Helms. Mail. Braces. Good to see you, friend. Did Feyrus have dealings with the Sura? No doubt about it. That Sura definitely gave something to Feyrus before leaving town. But if he asks, you didn't hear that from me. Always good to see you, friend. Welcome, welcome. Best weapons in the Outlands are right here. You made a deal with a Sura. Tell me what it was or... Don't hurt me. I just arranged the messenger, I swear. Kench, the woman who ran the hostel, she asked me to get a message to the one... He paid me in silver for informing him. But I was only doing what Kench asked of me. You have my word. No one beats me on price, friend. No hun beats me on... What did Kench want with the Sura? She sold him out. The Ishkai, who was living there, betrayed him to save her own neck. You wouldn't know to look at her, but Kench broke contracts for mercenaries all around the heretic kingdoms. Before she came to Thol, she hired the one-eyed Sura, but the job went sour. Her employer was slain. And the Sura was never paid. If there's one thing you don't do in the mercenary business, it's... I guess she saw her handing over the Ishkai as a way to wipe out her debts. No one beats me on price, friend. May all your endeavors be fruitful. You came back? Wonderful. Do you know Kench? Don't know anything useful about that. Weapons, armors. 